all right so um in this video i'm going to be showing you how to add on your camera on the easy seven um software so you can see this is my camera and um this is the way i connected it then this is the easy seven application so this is a camera that is not yet activated so what we want to do first of all is to activate the camera so i will first of all come here and refresh so that i can see my camera sorry um, close this page now right refresh so if i refresh you will see here now that the camera is not active that is the ip address dot one dot two you can see that it is not active so um please ignore all of this this is just me playing around here so what i'll do is this ip address i'm going to go to i'm going to open the web browser now and put in that ip address that's dot one dot two that's one nine one nine eight dot one six um one nine six dot one six eight dot one dot two so i'm going to put it on the web browser now and log into the camera web interface so because it's a new camera it's going to ask me to okay that's me putting it there sorry ignore this uh, team software it does that anytime i restart my system all right so the first thing is going to show me now is the TND page and it's going to ask me to create my password for the camera please ignore these pop-ups so here i will set in my camera password setting my camera password here and then i will log into it so once i log into the um, camera web interface here i can change the ip address to whatever ip address i want to use eventually you know this is going to work on just the software the easy seven software so each and every camera that will be adding will have different um, ip addresses so once i log in now you can see okay so i've logged in I've logged in the camera for some reason is supposed to display but it's not displaying yeah. <clears throat> so what I'll just do is I'll just go ahead um, so I'll just go ahead to into configuration I'll go ahead into configuration is detecting motion okay hold on so let me just go into configuration and um, change the ip address <coughs> of the camera from the default to what i wanted to um, use so you can see on the side here network click on um, basic basic yeah yeah so you can change the ip address here to what you want we are going to give it let's say 20 and then once i give it 20 i save it so once i do that it will ask me to re log in it will log me out of this one so i can log in again so let's quickly do that um okay so it has picked the new ip address that i gave to it so what i will just do is to put in the password that i already set for the camera that's what i'm doing right now so i'm showing you the ip address that has changed to 20.20 all right this is me logging in okay just to confirm that the password i set and the ip is taken all right so that is me myself and um, judith engineer judith <laughs> all right so let's go back to the easy seven app you can already see that the easy seven has seen the new ip address so let me just refresh okay you can see the new ip address here 
so what i want to do now is to add this new camera so i'll click it there and click on add to bring out this page so i will just edit the password put in the password i set initially and say okay so immediately i do that there's a prompt here that says that the camera was added successfully so if i go to the other page you can see the status here that is online close this page yeah you can see that it's online already so i'll just go back to the home page this device management i'll just go back to home page that's the first page here then click on live view so once it opens you can see on the corner here the ip address and this is my camera so i just double click and we are live so thank you very much for your patience this is how to hook it up to your easy life um, application all right see you in the next video